Shinzo Meiwa's longtime friend decides to speak out in court. Tokozisi Twala, a longtime friend of Shinzo Meiwa, testified in the High Court in Pretoria on Wednesday that he felt uneasy visiting Kelly Kumalo's residence on the day the soccer star was allegedly killed in a botched robbery. Twala testified regarding the circumstances surrounding Meiwa's fatal shooting at the residence of his single girlfriend, Kumalo, in Vosleroos. Twala told the court that he was uneasy about visiting the Kumalo homestead because he was also acquainted with Mandisa Mkize, Meiwa's wife. State Prosecutor Counsel George Baloyi inquired as to why Twala felt uneasy about visiting the Kumalo's residence. He responded, I was also Mandisa's friend, so it didn't feel right to go to Senzo's girlfriend's house when I knew Senzo's wife. Twala explained that, despite his reluctance, he went to the Kumalo homestead to meet his daughter, whom he had with Kelly, after Meiwa persuaded him that this was an opportunity. On October 26, 2014, Meiwa was struck down at the Kumalo residence in a suspected robbery. Kumalo and her younger sister Zandile, their modern Tombi Kumalo, Longwe Twala, Meiwa's friends Dokozisi Twala and Tumelo Madlala, Kelly's then four-year-old son Christian and Tingo, her daughter with Meiwa, were in the house on the day Meiwa was murdered. Colonel Lambertus Stein testified last week on Friday that there was evidence of cellular communication between some of the accused and Kelly Kumalo. The five accused of homicide are Accused number one, Themba Sibia Accused number two, Bongani Sandisa Accused number three, Ntombisi Nkube Accused number four, Ntokoziseni Mafisa And accused number five, Fisokule Nkani Ntuli Stein stated that the fifth accused, Ntuli, had made two phone calls to Meiwa's girlfriend prior to the fatal gunshot. We all know Ntuli had contacted Kelly twice in August and October 2014, approximately two weeks before the goalkeeper was murdered. Stain also disclosed that Ntuli's number was preserved as Mfo Kakumalo, roughly translated as he of the Kumalos, on the phone of the third accused in Kobe. Stain has also discovered photographs of the third suspect, Nkobe, showing that he had dreadlocks the day before and the day of Meiwa's murder. When Meiwa was shot, witnesses testified that one of the perpetrators had dreadlocks. Therefore, Nkobe's pictures with dreadlocks were significant. Twala is going to continue his testimony. Continue watching in order to get more info about the Senzo Meiwa trial. Thank you for watching till the end.